Hey everybody, David and David here from payitforward.com and upphone.com and in this video we're going to tell you about the best iPhone VPNs. There are a ton of VPNs out there, ton of VPN providers. Mm -hmm. What we've done is we've gone through a list of about 50 of them mm -hmm. and we've picked out four that we really like and how we've chosen these is that we've looked at which ones have iOS apps so they are super simple to install in your iPhone and which ones have good security and which ones are reputable. There are lots of these free VPN services, but you have to realize that with a virtual private network, you have to trust the company that's an in-between, the, the go-between, the, the, the VPN provider. Yeah. If you don't trust them, they can see everything you're doing on the internet because they're the middleman. So all these free companies out there, they could be seeing which websites you're going to and what you're looking at and, and you know all sorts of stuff, and God knows who they're selling it to. These companies that we're going to recommend are trustworthy and they are not going to sell your data to God knows who. Yeah, don't use the free VPNs. I tried using a free VPN on my iPhone once and it just did. It, It'll also be slow, slow, clunky. These are fast. These are good. Yes. Let's get to number one. So let's start with NordVPN. Not a VPN to be ignored. <laughs> what you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. NordVPN is not the cheapest VPN provider in the world, but it does have Netflix compatibility, which is huge. Yep. Not many companies will say that. This is also used by the Huffington Post mm -hmm. and other major companies. We should say with the Netflix thing too, why that's cool is that you can log in in the UK and they have a different, just a different catalog of stuff to watch. So you're like, oh, the US yeah. Netflix is terrible. Mm -hmm. I want to watch this show. It's only available in Canada or the UK. Mm -hmm. Let me just hop onto my VPN set up an IP in Canada, boom. Done. Easy. Another thing that I was thinking about too with VPNs is that sometimes ESPN Plus blacks out the Yankees games in New York and I don't have cable. So what I could do is I could just say, oh, I'm in California, let me watch the Yankees game on ESPN Plus for free. Wow. Yeah. Sneaky. Pretty sneaky. sneaky. NordVPN is headquartered in Panama, which does not have the tightest relationship with the US or some other countries. They're pretty safe. Yep, six connections. As you said, the price a little bit more expensive, but it's solid. Yeah, I mean, VPN is an important thing. You have to trust the company. And it, but more expensive, it's still not super expensive. It's no. like sixty nine dollars for a year. Yeah. So I mean, it's you know, it's it's worth the price. Absolutely. 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 Number two is Pure VPN. Pure VPN has military grade encryption. It's a reputable provider that you can trust. Also headquartered in Hong Kong. Hong Kong, right. Doesn't have a great relationship with the US uh, law enforcement. Not at the moment. Pure VPN, also no log certified by a leading independent auditor. Over 2000 established virtual private networks with servers accessible in more than 180 countries. Right, so if they're not keeping logs of what you're doing, Somebody can say, hey, what was this guy doing? And they can say, no, we don't know. We don't know. We don't have the law. We don't have the law. <laughs> Not that we're endorsing any illegal activity, but no. Or that we're anti-logging. Yeah. This is in an environmentalist video. <laughs> Next, let's talk about Tunnel Bear. Tunnel Bear, based in Canada, better relationship with the United States. So if you're doing something you shouldn't be doing, more likely that your records will get subpoenaed. We like Tunnel Bear. One of the reasons I like Tunnel Bear is that they're one of the few VPN providers that regularly does security audits of all of their apps, which is awesome. This is all about security and trust. Trust. Yes. Yep. So they are based in Canada, Canadian company. Mm -hmm. Maybe you feel more comfortable with a, uh, a VPN provider that's based in the US or Canada. Sure. Because you know you're not doing anything illegal and there are maybe better audits of some of these companies because if a company's based in a country that doesn't have great auditors yeah. and they could be telling you anything. Yeah, one thing I really like about Tunnel Bear too, I have the app on my phone, is how easy it was to set up. You just enter your account information and it automatically configures the VPN for you. So I'm just gonna open up the Tunnel Bear app on my phone, go to the app library, library, hit in Tunnel Bear. So right now, connection unsecured. I can just tap that switch to turn it on. There we go. I like that. Oh, look, it's got a little hair. Yeah, the animation is great. Yeah, so I that's set, cool. I set up in Argentina, but one thing that's cool is you can just like, oh, I want to go to Brazil now. It's very Mario esque. So one thing we should uh, we should show them how to do is like, the, what is my IP? Just to show sure. them what it looks like. Sure. So I'm just gonna close out of the Tunnel Bear app. The VPN will stay on. I'm gonna open up Chrome on my iPhone. So now if I just tap on one of these sites, you know, what is my IP address? Go right here. 
it says that I am in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Did I pronounce it right, Sao Paulo? So I think Paulo? so. Okay. I think so. <laughs> so yeah, it's really cool, really easy to use, really easy to set up. Tunnel Bear, very affordable. Right. Monthly subscriptions like three dollars and thirty-three cents. Really. Yep. Great. So people, like if you were to go to our website through this VPN, we would think that you were in Brazil. Yep. Our analytics would say someone in Brazil is looking at the website. Finally, let's talk about Viper VPN. Just like Tunnel Bear, they're based in a country that has friendly relations with the United States, Switzerland. So if you do something illegal, they might help the US find out, but they have fabulous security mm -hmm. and they don't keep logs. So although they might talk with somebody in the US about you, they might not be able to give them your information. But right. don't do anything illegal anyway, Yeah, right? We don't do that. Yeah, they have over 700 VPN servers around the world. Yep. What I really like about this network is that they own all of their servers. Mm -hmm. They're not using another infrastructure like DigitalOcean or Amazon or any of the lesser reputable. Because you have to trust every link in the VPN chain. Mm -hmm. I also have the Viper VPN app on my phone. Let's just show them what that looks like real quick. Viper. And just like with Tunnel Bear, I'm having a terrible typing day today. Just like with Tunnel Bear, it's really easy to hook this up. You just type in your username, password, and it fills in all the information for you. You can manually configure your VPNs on your iPhone in the settings app. That is a pain in the butt. Let's say you want to be really secure. Yeah. So right now it thinks that you're in Brazil because you're still connected to the other VPN. To the other VPN. Yeah. Well, let's connect. Let's connect. Double VPN. Is that a Double thing? Is that VPN. A, is that a thing? Or yeah. Go route my VPN through a VPN. Connected. Server location in USA, New York. Probably don't want that. It brought us right back here. So if I go to servers and you can just, you know, choose whatever you want. Let's go to Denmark. There we go. And as you can see in the upper right hand corner of my iPhone screen, a little VPN logo. Right. Now let's head back to Google Chrome and check the what is my IP address site. And now we're in Copenhagen. Very cool. So how cool is that? Yep. Check out our article on Pay It Forward. What is an iPhone VPN? It has some more background information about VPNs. If you're not totally sure what a VPN is, check out our other video. Link what in the card VPN? above and the description section below. It's fun watch. Yes. Thanks for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Leave a comment down below what VPN you like to use if you use a VPN. Yeah. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more great videos about iPhones. And VPNs. And VPNs and tech.